What's going on guys? Out here on a no cool call. Another simple one. When it's 100 degrees outside, get plenty of them. Bad dual run, 35.5. I've already swapped it out. As you can see, I adjusted the bracket so it was nice and secure. Labeled it, all that good stuff. I just got everything up and running. Just double checking amp draws, voltages, all that good stuff. Making sure there's no other underlying problems as we usually do. This unit was converted, it looks like. We've never been here before. It was converted to 422D back in 2015. So I'm not gauging up on it. And when I talk about checking refrigerant charges when you find dual capacitors, it doesn't always mean you have to hook up your gauges. You can use the non-invasive method where you essentially just check line temperatures, do a little bit of math depending on your efficiency, and uh, that'll give you a very accurate idea of what your refrigerant charge is without having to gauge up or any of that stuff so just keep that in mind whenever i'm referring to that that's what i'm meaning um, just like we're doing here no gauges or anything hooked up just checking line temperatures temperature drop things like that so you can get a pretty good idea without having to go through all the refrigerant gauges manifold smart probes what have you so we just got our two testo 115 eyes over there but it's nice and shady under here, but it is a brutal day. It's about 100 degrees outside. Not a cloud in the sky. And uh, it is just just cooking out here. But can't say enough about this, this little umbrella. It's been a lifesaver for sure. You can see it swivels and pivots left and right, 45 and 90 degrees. So it's definitely, uh, definitely saving my behind, especially with that ocean breeze in the shade. It feels at least 10 or 15 degrees cooler under here than it does out in the blazing sun so but uh like i said we're checking things out i'm gonna let it run for a little while and uh i'd probably much rather be over there at that abc store or down there on the ocean playing on the beach but thanks to this uh this umbrella it's keeping me relatively cool got this thing at uh at lowe's for $17.95 I think it was and I'm gonna go back there either later this week or this weekend and buy probably two or three more so we got a couple guys at the shop that want one and uh, I'm definitely gonna buy a backup but sturdy works great like I said I'm down here on the ocean front so it's windy it's holding up it doesn't it doesn't uh, fold up or get flimsy or anything like that it is a it is a beach umbrella so yeah, but just wanted to make a quick video just showing you guys what I'm up to today. But again, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Really appreciate it, guys. And uh, more content coming, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.